Welcome to The Terrible Take, a mini-podcast telling Steelers Nation what's on our mind. I'm Alex Kazora. Today's take will be a little ironic. On Monday, I praised the Steelers' ability to keep a secret, to make their hirings and coaching moves without any of the media world finding out. But this week, Kevin Colbert may have spilled the beans about one of the quarterbacks the Steelers are high on in this draft class, Pitt's Kenny Pickett. And sure, that comes as no major shock. They're interested in the talented, productive dude who shared their team facility. But during his Monday morning press conference, Colbert was asked, seemingly jokingly, if he'd tell reporters which quarterbacks he liked in this draft. Instead of the short, total non-answer you'd rightfully expect, he actually gave something of substance. Colbert did note the obvious, that it's a tightly bunched quarterback class, but he pivoted to praise Pickett, saying, quote, Obviously, we watched a great quarterback, Kenny Pickett. I don't like to talk about individual players, but I think that's such a unique situation that the season that he had for Pitt, and you have to acknowledge that, and congratulations to Kenny, congratulations to Pitt, end quote. So Colbert doesn't like talking about individual guys, but goes on to spend a minute talking about Pickett. And again, I get it, local kid, they know him, watched him, all that jazz. But still, there's been a lot of Pitt guys to come out of the draft. Colbert doesn't talk about all of them like that. He then went on to seemingly downplay Pickett's hand size concerns, essentially saying it's not something that's a deal breaker for them. Later, Colbert to a certain degree minimized the importance of mobility and highlighted the need for accuracy. Again, that fits Pickett's game. Somewhat mobile, but not Malik Willis, but regarded as an accurate thrower overall in this class. Though Colbert and the Steelers often say little around draft season, when they do give an answer, it's usually a pretty honest assessment. None of this guarantees Pickett staying at Heinz Field come 2022, and picking at number 20 is a tough spot to go get your guy. But keep that comment tucked away when it comes time to make your Steelers mock drafts. Be sure to follow us at SteelersDepot.com and check out episodes of The Terrible Take every day, 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And check out The Terrible Podcast, myself and Dave Bryan, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday.